Well, this is the first weekend in two months when churches have been allowed to open for in-person services. Many of the churches we reached out to have decided to remain virtual until there is a decline in COVID-19 cases here in Alabama, but some decided to invite members back practicing social distancing. Of course, we stopped by the Upper Room Baptist Church in Irondale today as they held their first in-person service in months. CBS 42 News reporter Malik Rankin has that story for us tonight. Upper Room Baptist Church is a smaller church in Irondale, and their pastor tells me it's because of their size. They felt it's safe to invite their members back in for service. Six feet, six feet. After eight weeks of virtual services, Pastor Ken Taylor says they were excited to reopen and reunite their church family. We are a smaller congregation, and we knew that it would uh, most likely not be a problem to have people get far enough apart, and so we felt that was safe enough for us. Families were required to social distance from each other, but that space didn't stop them from feeling connected. Um, it's been really good. I've really missed it. I enjoy coming to church, and um, my family comes here, so we all worship together. It was wonderful. Blessed. <laughs> Reuben Melton is 92 years old. He says tuning into the virtual sermons were a bit of a challenge. Oh, I don't have a computer or anything, but uh, the woman sitting here, Faye Wilson, uh, always played it to me over the phone. So uh, I got the messages. Many of the members at Upper Room Baptist Church are older. Ken Taylor says they disinfected commonly touched areas before the service to keep everyone safe. We have uh, used the Lysol and tried to make sure that we had plenty of hand sanitizer, things like that uh, for folks so that when they came in, it would be safe. Pastor Taylor says he and his members felt safe returning to church today and hope in-person services continue. Upper Room Baptist Church is continuing to stream their services online for members that aren't quite yet comfortable returning to in-person services. I'm Malik Rankin, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Malik.